Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna explain and show you what is the nerve grinding and nerve forcing and how to treat them. Alright, let's go along. Nerve forcing, as known as nerve grinding or nerve mobilization, is a variety of exercise designed to mobilize and stretch the nerves, reduce irritation, and improving range of motion. Nerve forcing is a movement, so it's an active exercise and not just a stretch. Side nerve force works by tensioning one end of the nerve while releasing tension on the other end. This repetitive motion causes the nerve to grind back and forth through its path and aim to break up any adhesions have developed along its path. This can have reduce pain caused by sciatica, as well as improve range of motion, strength, balance, and coordination. One of the goal of sciatic nerve forcing is to increase blood flow along the area and promote healing. When doing this type of exercise, it's important to use slow, controlled movement. Gliding exercise help put the nerve through the tunnel of the nerve pathway, therefore relieving pain and numbness. It's important to perform gliding exercise slowly and gently to avoid the further aggravating the sciatic nerve. Never force yourself and always stop if you feel the pain getting worse. Studies suggest traditional PT method combined with nerve forcing may be just what you need to get rid of sciatica. Studies have shown combined nerve forcing with traditional physical therapy can effectively reduce sciatic pain. It can also improve the range of motion in your hip. Nerve gliding promotes a smooth, regular movement of the body's peripheral arms. This allows the nerve to glide freely with the movement of the joint and relieve the nerve from pressure. Sciatic nerve stimulation alleviates acute neuropathic pain through modulation of nerve inflammation and inhibition of descending pain in a rodent model. The first, bending forward or bending over to get something isn't a good idea when you have a sciatica. Constant bending irritates your back muscles and the sciatic nerve, making your pain worse. It is important to use your legs and squat down to pick something up instead of leaning forward at your waist. The second, piriformis syndrome. When you shorten piriformis muscles, compress your sciatic nerve. Sciatica exercise to avoid squatting, high impact training. Lifting both legs off the ground, bending forward with straight legs, twisting or rotating the torso. When you take a bad position, adding a thick pillow under your knees can help maintain curve the spine and relax your hip flexors. This is considered the best posture for sciatic. If you need to rest, it's way better lay down flat on your back so the pressure on your lower body spread out. Poor sitting posture can also contribute sudden bouch of sciatica. Even though curling your lower back can help to alleviate the pain, a bad posture can just make existing back pain worse. After six to eight weeks of consistent 
and daily love grace. You can expect to feel no tightness or pain. For restricted or entered nerve is sensitive and should not be forced or obligated. So, if you feel any pain while doing nerve gliding exercise or afterward, you should reduce the range of motion and glide to freedom for the irritation. The less irritation around the nerve, the quicker it will heal and therefore will allow greater pain-free movement. Always avoid stretching nerves or gliding through the pain as this will further aggravate the injured nerve. If your pain persists or worsens, you should see a doctor of physical therapy or neurologist immediately for accurate diagnosis and tailored treatment plan. A brief explanation of nerve gliding and flossing is here. Now, I'm going to show you two major exercises as your first therapy home exercise. Alright, let's go along. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago Back a year ago. Today's major therapeutic home exercise here. Please do this therapeutic home exercise once or twice a day after get up in the morning or before you fall in the street from Monday to Saturday. Please put the alarm on your cell phone at the same time for regular home exercise. If your sign symptoms are improved a week later, start the high level therapeutic exercise. If not, Keep it up the same or low level therapy exercise. Then, if a sinus symptoms do not improve or pain worsen even after level 1 therapy exercise, please see a medical doctor as soon as possible. 
and get an accurate diagnosis and test. Please watch your following video. Make sure you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your link notification. Have a gorgeous day. See you again.